Time now for the Real Estate Edge with Mitchell Rogel. He is with PWC. Happy to have you on the show. Thanks, Angie. We have to talk about this Fed move because I think a lot of homeowners are very concerned or people who are now thinking about buying a home. What are you expecting as far as mortgage rates? So let's look at it this way. There'll be three more Fed moves in 2017. So the move recently didn't really do anything that big. The election did more for uh, mortgage rates than the, the Fed move did because they assumed when Trump was elected that things would proceed as planned with the quarter point increase. Going forward though in 2017 there's a lot of anxiety in the housing market around three more increases because affordability is a big concern amongst homeowners and if you have three moves that could mean tipping the scales from an affordability perspective. What are you hearing? What are you hearing from people? What's going on in the industry? What's the chat? A lot of anxiety. So the, re the race to refinance is still going on. So if you haven't refinanced yet, do it. Um, three quarter point increases in 2017 doesn't necessarily mean that mortgage rates will go up three quarters of a point, okay? Because what happened actually when the Fed moved over a year ago, interest rates actually fell afterwards. But every little inch makes a difference. Right. So the fact of the matter is, and people minimize this, and I think that's the mistake that a lot of analysts make. They look at it and say, well, if the average mortgage in this country is $200,000 and we raise a quarter of a point, that's only $38 a month. The problem is $38 a month times 12 is a lot. $38 a month if there's another- 30 years. Right. It's a <laughs> and lot. And another, of, right? Right. And if there's one more increase and another increase. So it really adds up, and that's really adding to the anxiety level amongst the typical home buyer. Some of the banks are also big on pushing home equity lines right now because they do see these rates going up. Right, and what's interesting about home equity lines, the way they're packaged and sold, there's often a teaser rate. So in the first six months you draw down and the rate is based upon prime and it may even be prime minus. So it can be very cheap for the first, uh, and it's very credit card-like because you can make minimum payments. The problem is it catches up to you. It does, how? Well, what happens is after the six month teaser rate, that balance that's outstanding is now gonna be earning interest at a much higher rate and people forget about that. And there is a component of people who are taking out that home equity line. They're not necessarily doing it to, for something to add value to their home, like an improvement. They're doing it to consolidate credit card bills. And then, then we're really not helping our personal balance sheet by putting more debt on the home to liquidate credit card That was a great tip you just gave, See by that? the way. <laughs> as far as home buying, if you are in the market for the home, is it better to buy maybe in the spring rather than waiting for next fall? I mean, if you're on the cusp and you're really thinking the, about the this. The biggest problem in the housing market around buying, uh, more buying than selling, is lack of inventory. So we're actually at the lowest level. If you look at some of the pattern of housing starts numbers that come out and um, new home sales numbers that come out, the inventory levels are really low. So we're looking at five months of inventory just by comparison before the financial crisis, there was 12 months of inventory in the market. So without a lot of inventory, basic supply and demand, it means prices are going up. So um, maybe the spring is when you'll see more inventory, but the problem is that's when more buyers show up as well. That was my next question. When will the inventory picture change? We saw recent pickup in um, housing starts. The problem is it takes sometimes 18 months to build a house, so we're not gonna see that inventory uh, benefit. Um, you, we saw in the last spring selling season a lot of existing homeowners trying to put their properties on the market, but there were a lot of people trading up to try to take advantage of uh, lower rates. So it doesn't necessarily work the way people want it to work uh, with supply and demand. Uh, prices are going up. You are just a wealth of information. I'm a wealth of information. Thank you for coming on the show Thanks, today. Thanks, Angie. Thank Appreciate you. it.